All right, unless you're living under a rock or you're off social media like Todd, you've clearly seen the, what's the right word here? The dumpster fire. Dumpster fire. The All that's going on in the CrossFit world. And we, part of us doesn't want to talk and part of us feels that we have an obligation to, uh, to the community for best hour of their day, for the, for the people that listen, the coaches, the box owners. We've obviously been doing our part. Maybe you've listened to the most recent episodes with Sin and then our episode with Cameron and Brian and Holly. But Todd, Fern, and I just wanted to talk about this and, and give you our opinions for whatever they're worth and, and go from there. So Fern, you want to take the lead? Yeah, I guess I guess I could do that. Um, I think everybody wants something now. Like everybody wants to make everybody wants everybody to make a statement and make a stand now. And I do think it's worth kind of acknowledging that for, for some people, it's a little harder to just throw caution to the wind and say, this is exactly how I feel because there's a lot of people that are unsure. Right. So I, I'm not going to say I speak for you guys, but I know, I think, I think you feel the same way that I do is that the, the hesitant, the hesitancy to, to say anything is because of how much CrossFit means to me to my family, to my friends, to everybody that for the thousands and thousands of people that I've had the privilege of interacting with. And I think it's, if you wear the red shirt, like you guys do, like all of us collectively, we've been doing this for more than two decades and, and have had the, the privilege and the responsibility of being the gatekeeper for people that enter into the community it's just different. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying it's different. And it's really, really hard. It's just really hard to get stuck in something like this where you have done everything that you've done for the past 10 years because of the people that walk in your door and that you care about and that you love. And now you're stuck in this spot where there's a lot of not good things happening and you don't know what to do and you're just feel a little bit lost in it. So I guess my, I guess with all that, whatever the fuck I just rambled off, but I think it would be prudent for everybody to practice a little bit of patience at this point. It, it's been 48 hours and everybody wants the world to explode immediately. And I just don't know that that is appropriate. And I'm not saying that anybody's wrong for being angry. I'm just saying prudence, like, pump the brakes, wait, give people an opportunity to collect more information so they can feel good about whatever decision they decide to make. Um, you know, and for the record, I'm in the same camp that I was for COVID. If you like with, with regard to shutting your gym or opening it, if you de-affiliate it, I, I get it. I'm not, I'm not doing it yet. I'm not, and I'm not to say that I won't, but I've invested too much and I fucking, Yeah, it just gets me upset. No, I think, you know, you and Todd, especially, you have two roles. We have roles as seminar staff members, and you guys still own your affiliates. You know, I'm just part of seminar staff. But what about you, Todd? What's your sentiment? It, my biggest thing right now is obviously I'm just sad and disappointed. Sad and disappointed because it was this community that really showed me what inclusion and equality and everything else was all about. This was the place where it didn't matter who you are, what you look like, how good you were, or any of the rest of that stuff. You walked in the door, you were willing to suffer with the person next to you and cheer them on as they were going. And you were, you were part of it. You were accepted and everything else. And so to be at a position where the thought of, the community and the brand, not the community, but probably the brand doesn't represent that. It's disappointing, especially because it was not based on the brand overall or the community overall. It was based on, on the words of one person. Um, and I know that the CrossFit community that I have tried to serve as an affiliate owner and as a seminar staff member and have dedicated, you know, the last 10 or 12 years of my life, you know, exclusively to pretty much 
is still the same community that I fell in love with. And it's still the same inclusive community that welcomes people in and supports everybody, no matter where they're at in their journey and not only fitness, but life and just trying to be better. And, um, you know, I think I'm with Fern in the, in the sense that like rushing to a decision is, is a tough thing to do because obviously I, I mean, I think it's great in the sense that it's going to demand a change and there needs to be a change. Something has to happen um, for us to figure out what the future looks like. Um, but waiting to, to, to think about things a little bit more, to truly get your feet underneath you, to, to understand the facts and to, and to actually to see what are the repercussions of, of what's been done. Um, and it's similar to me. I'm like, I'm, I'm with Fern in the sense that at this point I need to see that to decide where I'm going next. Um, I definitely don't stand by the comments that were made. I definitely don't believe that that represents our community or what I've stood for, or tried to try to create and support. Um, but I'm not ready to give out up on you guys that I worked with and the countless number of other trainers that I've worked with and people that I've met just because of that. So it's just, it's been a tough couple of days. It's, it's heartbreaking to think that we're in this position just because of how much this community has given to myself. And I know to you guys and to countless other people. And I, you know, I'm still proud of the work that we've done um, in growing this community and fostering this community, not only inside the walls of my gym, but also at the seminars and all the rest of that stuff. And I think there's still work to be done in that space. Um, and I just hope that the right decisions are made and transitions are made so that can potentially happen, continue in the future. Yeah. I don't really know beyond that, what else we need to address for this. I don't think anyone is arguing on behalf of the statements. I think everyone at this point, like Fern alluded to is just reacting very quickly, which isn't necessarily right or wrong, but I, th I think we're all looking at it as like this one person represents this community that we've known to, to love and has become a part of all of our lives when that's not the case. Like abandoning ship for that reason is maybe not the right reason. Anything? Yeah, I just, I think, I just think more time. I just think more time. Like I just, I think more time. And, in, and, just, and this this went down on Friday. It's Monday. Well, and most people probably didn't even know about it until Saturday. I didn't know about it, anything until yesterday. Yeah, and I don't. I don't think. I mean, standing and saying nothing is not a situation or a position that that you know that that I think is right either. So I don't. I don't condemn anybody for for making the stance that they did. And in fact, I think a lot like like I mentioned before. I think that's going to be the thing that is going to cause a change and there needs to be that. Um, and I think that voice in the opinion that, Hey, I don't stand by, by this type of behavior and these actions. And um, depending on how things move forward is going to greatly dictate where, where things go. Is there anything else we need to add for this? I, I would just like to say, and I think everyone knows this, but I do think it's worth just saying out loud is that we all know that I've never in my life, and I've been a part of a lot of different communities, been witness to a more welcoming community than the CrossFit community. When people say that, that everybody's welcome in a CrossFit gym, that's not just fucking lip service. Like that is the fucking truth. And I've been on teams, I've been in the military, I've been in organizations, and I've never been in a spot where that is actually really the truth. And that's why I think you see so many people upset is because everybody fucking knows that. Like it is, it is just understood. Everybody knows, everybody talks about it. When I go somewhere else and I go to another place, I know I can just walk into that CrossFit gym. No matter what I look like, no matter where I've been, no matter how old I am, no matter what I've got going on in my life, no matter what my background is, they're going to welcome me with open arms. And I just think it's worth saying. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, you think about the three of us, we, we've literally traveled the world. I've taught seminars in New York, Florida, Dubai, you know, where people are coming in wearing, you know, the, the, the full garb, you know, and it's like, we don't ever look at anyone as different. It's just welcome, like we're doing CrossFit. Like, and it's, I think that's always been the coolest part of it. I mean, you get three people, even just like us from different walks of life, you know, the people that we work with on staff. So it is one of the most welcoming communities out there. When, when people move around the world for jobs or for family, the first thing they do is join a CrossFit and immediately have a new community that they're a part of. So I, you know, and I think it's just, it's sad to think that people are going to abandon that when, when it doesn't necessarily need to go that route. Well, and the reality of it is, is regardless of what happens at HQ going forward, that community is live, alive and well. And I think one of the things that is most inspiring about the community is the determination and the passion that everybody has for that community and for each other. Um, and I think that's the thing that's going to propel us forward and uh, allow things to change. And what that looks like, I'm not really sure, but I know that the people that are involved in this community and that are passionate about this community are going to take action to not only change what's, what's wrong with our community potentially, or what's wrong at the top of it, um, but also just, just I think this, this will make a big difference, not only in difference, not only in our community, but outside of it as well. I mean, there's a lot more awareness due to this stuff. And like I said, like the people that are attracted to and take part in the CrossFit community are the best people I've ever met in my life. Um, and I've got nothing but confidence in the fact that those people, whether they call themselves CrossFit or they don't, will continue to do the things that inspire all of us and continue to, to, to change them and ourselves and the world around us. Yeah. I, I, you know, I think like you said, Todd, the community will thrive on despite anything, but hopefully we can, well, no, we'll have more information shortly, you know, in the next day, couple of days, week, and, and hopefully we can all band together and, and continue to move forward. Anything else to add? No, well, I just, you know, keep having conversations like, you know, like what we had with Brian and Cameron and Holly this weekend, you know, just talk to people, you know, and don't, and I think there's a lot of anger right now and I get it but I don't know that that's I don't know that people should be making decisions based on that there's other options other than being angry agreed all right well let's let's wrap it up there we just wanted to make sure our voice was heard that we were speaking for for, for you guys that have been reaching out I know we didn't necessarily give a, a ton of information but like Fern said let's give it a little bit of time let's see what happens and then we can make some better, more educated decisions going forward. Thanks for listening to Best Hour of Their Day. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. How cool is that? There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer so it becomes super simple some of these episodes with Fern or Todd or myself chatting with one another, we've done right within the app itself. Anchor will make it easy to distribute your podcast to all platforms, Spotify, Apple, and many more. And you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make an awesome podcast in one place. All you have to do is download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Come on, who doesn't have Spotify at this point? And if you were unaware, Spotify now is offering podcasts. That's right, on Spotify, you can listen to all your favorite artists, but also podcasts in one place for free. Spotify has a huge catalog of podcasts on every topic, including the one you're listening to right now, best hour of their day on Spotify. You can follow your favorite podcasts so you never miss an episode. Premium users can even download episodes to listen to offline 
wherever you are, something I always do before I hop on a plane. And you can even easily share what you're listening to with your friends on Instagram and other social media platforms. Here's the deal. If you haven't done so already, be sure to download the Spotify app, search for best hour of their day on Spotify, or browse some other podcasts if you want. You can find them in your library tab. And also make sure to follow me so you never miss an episode of Best Hour of Their Day. Thanks again for listening to Best Hour of Their Day. If you haven't already, do us a favor, head over to the Apple Podcast app and leave us a review. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback for either Fern or myself, hit us up, besthouroftheirday at gmail.com or send us a DM over on Instagram at best hour of their day. Once again, we couldn't do this without the amazing community and you are a part of it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for supporting best hour of their day.